Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a tips and tricks video. Um, somebody asked this question in the uh, live show and I thought it was interesting enough that maybe some of you would be interested in knowing this. So I decided to make a video and it's using eye contrast mode in the ease of access to actually change the colors of your Windows experience to the way you might want them. Now by default eye contrast mode and ease of access is there for people that have disabilities have difficulty viewing different colors or different contrasts now you can actually tweak these colors and maybe use it to have your own windows experience um, with different colors you know some people find that the white background in file explorer or internet explorer is annoying would like to have something else well what you do is you simply go to the search in Cortana and type high contrast or if you don't find it here you can actually go into the notifications all settings go into ease of access and on the eye contrast on the left by default none is chosen you can click here and say okay I want to have a high contrast team so what you'll do simply use one of the contrast themes that is uh, here. So you'll see here the contrast that it gives you, text, hyperlinks, disabled text, and so on. What you could do is click apply. It's immediately gonna show you what it looks like. Now, this gives you a black background, and this is everywhere that you'll have that. So for example, if I open Edge, you see that my Edge browser is now in the back black background, and everything you'll do, every page you'll visit, will have a black background instead of a white. It could be a problem sometimes, but uh, you know what? Depending on what you want to do, um, this affects everywhere. But you can change that. You can say, um, I don't want to have a black background. I actually would like to have a, uh, so you see here, this is a white. You say, well, I want to have something that's like not as white as the background. So you see the difference here and here, slightly less uh, than it was so you can choose some of those and say apply and when you change something you actually have to name it this will give you your team so for example once you found the settings that you like you just call it whatever you want so I can say Jill favorite team windows save now it is applied so if I uh, should just you know use file explorer for example you'll see that oh it's now a different color maybe you don't like the green lettering here so you can go back and tweak it and say okay uh, green letters are no good uh, I want to have black letters and apply and of course every time you change you have to give it a new name and you save it and it is kept in Windows so basically means that now every time you uh, want to use it so here goes black text on a light blue background so you can play with that and have colors like you want but like I said word of warning it affects pretty much everything in Windows so if you use that it might change everything some of the places it doesn't affect is on non Windows software like Firefox or Chrome but in Internet Explorer and Microsoft Edge it will have an effect in the background and so on and you know what the good news about this is if you play with all of that and you say well I'm annoyed and I'm not sure or I don't want this anymore it's very easy you just go back to the ease of access and in the team you just go and decide to choose none and you apply it and you're back to normal and everything is back to normal like it was before which is just great so little tips and tricks if you want to put color to your Windows world if you enjoyed my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. And hope that you enjoy the videos. You can send us your comments, suggestions, and even um, send us a suggestion of a video you'd like to see.